I'm Brian Van. And Andrew Berry. From Sport Bike Track Gear. SportbikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a video reviewing another brand new one piece leather suit from Alpine Stars. This is the GP Pro one piece leather suit. We're going to talk about sizing, right? It's one of the biggest questions when somebody's going to buy a suit. Always. What size do I need to do? What's going to fit me? Well, I'm 5'10, 165 pounds. I'm wearing a 52 year old or 42 US. What do you have on underneath the suit right now? I'm wearing a Knox Contour back protector with a cycle skin undersuit. And okay. then my boxers, and that's it. So no, no additional? No, no other armor. So you can. If there's a little bit of room here too. You could use some padded shorts if you wanted to, throw in an additional chest guard or something. So you do have a little bit of room to go. No, but overall it's a great fit out of the box right as it is. You know, we find the GP Pro seems to fit kind of, I would say this one fits true to size. Mm -hmm. I agree. You My next one is also 52 euro. So Once again, yes. for suit sizing, never hesitate to call us. This is what we do. We I sell that. suits, man. We ride in suits. We try in suits. We dissect suits. We've had our own suits made before. We know suits. And it's a real technical piece of apparel. And you have to ask yourself, when you're buying a suit, do you want to buy it from someone that's never ridden in one, has no idea how it should fit, a guy that's never fallen in a leather suit? And we've learned a lot of our lessons about fit from all this crashing, you know? When it's too loose, the leather folds up. You can send you tumble. I mean, just stuff like that. Those are lessons that we've all learned along the way. We didn't need a road rep to tell us. You know, we didn't need to read the bullet points in the catalog. So I'd really kind of encourage you that if you're going to buy a technical garment like this, buy it from somebody who's actually used one. I think that's a great way to go. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and show them how fit you, Andrew. Give them a nice 360, get in riding position. Just kind of follow them down, Josh. At this price point, this GP Pro really offers some great features like these this V-shaped motion panel on the back of the suit. We have found in our experience that that V-shaped motion panel on the back is the most effective way to keep a suit comfortable, right, and to allow it to fit different body types. Let's say Andrew decided he's going to start binging on ho-hos or something, and he puts on 20 pounds in the gut, right? Okay, maybe 20 pounds is a stretch, but if you were bigger in the gut, you've got this motion panel here. It's going to allow that to happen. If he starts lifting some weights, he's a little bigger across the chest. This motion panel, once again, is going to allow that to happen. And also, when you're riding around on a motorcycle, this is very effective at letting you move without burning a ton of energy. And that's really what it's all about. The price point this GP Pro is at, it offers a lot of tremendous features and benefits. Very impressive for its, its retail price point. Almost shockingly impressive. Tons of perf up front. Lots of perf in the upper thigh area. Okay, definitely hot spots. Hard outer shoulder protector. Hard outer elbow protector. We have a motion panel here in the elbow. If you want to come down to the knee, Josh, you've got a hard outer protector here on the knee as well. The race hump, this is perforated, okay, and the race hump is hollowed out and it's, it's backed up by a piece of basically mesh. Air drives in when he's in a tuck. Forced in through the suit, it helps keep cool and comfortable. We think the, the GP Pro is going to be a, a great addition to the Alpine Star catalog. No doubt about it. We love Alpine Stars, one of the best brands in the world, and it is still today for us, numero uno, baby. Alpine Stars, for good reason. They make great stuff. Stay tuned for part two. I'm going to take this GP Pro apart and give you a look from the inside out. Okay, here we go with the all-new Alpine Stars GP Pro one-piece leather suit from the inside out. We have a dual-density perforated race hump. The material you see on the outside, the white, is firmer than the stuff you see on the black. I think what they're intending there is for that to actually be part of the armor system on the suit. It's perforated at the top. The top of the race hump is perfed in the leather. Air drives in, filters in through a mesh panel that holds this into the suit, works to keep you cool. CE certified shoulder armor, hard outer GP shell, energy absorbing foam on the inside, nice coverage area too for the shoulder and the side of the arm. The knee armor, Alpine Stars is using the BTEC knee armor, CE certified, it's got kind of a medium density, outer shell, energy absorbing foam on the inside, one piece design, large knee cuff. The BTEC is good stuff. Elbow and forearm armor, hard outer GP shell. Energy absorbing foam on the inside, great stuff, been using this for a long time. 
the chest armor that comes in this suit, it comes with basically this medium density foam padding. Remember, it's a very affordable upgrade to add on the Alpine Stars Bionic Chest Armor, which offers a hard outer GP shell and energy absorbing foam on the inside. It's a great add on, very affordable. The liner on the GP1 is, of course, removable. Let's take a look at the liner itself. A lot of the armor is actually held in the liner. The shoulder armor slips into an armored pocket, easy to do Velcro closure. We've got a little extra padding here for the outside of the arm that's sewn into the liner. Got nice protection here for the quads and the hips sewn in. Moving down, the knee armor is also slid into a pocket that is part of the liner. And you can see here there's a Velcro patch where you can move this up and down just a little bit in the suit and kind of fine tune it and hold it in place and make it right for you so you can get a little bit of adjustment out of this by kind of moving that around. Okay, here we go. Let's focus on the shell of the suit. The top of the race hump, the leather panel is perforated. Air drives in when you're in a tuck. It's pushed in through the hollowed out hump. Works to keep you cool when you're riding. You can see here it says dual density on the back. We've got some additional leather panels, some overlays here on the back of the suit for additional abrasion resistance up here in the shoulder area. I would like to point out the stretch panel they're using on this suit is also huge. Starts up here in the shoulders, comes to the underarm area, wraps all the way around the waist, kind of like a big V shape. This is one of the best ways to do a stretch panel because it allows the suit to move great on your body. It offers a great fit and it takes less energy to move around in the suit so you can spend that energy riding the motorcycle well. Because let's be realistic, out there riding around you burn a ton of energy. The less you fight your equipment, the better off you're going to be. We've got some foam padding sewn in here for the tailbone. Back of the suit, we have Kevlar based stretch material all the way down the legs. We have a calf expansion panel built in. Essentially, open that zipper up if you have to. If you've got large calves, it exposes another panel. It's going to buy almost another inch in that area. So, if you know you have big calves, it's nice to know with the Alpine Star suit, you have that option. Perforated panel here in the lower leg. They perf the lower calf area. There's a lot of foam padding, foam armor sewn in between the layers of leather here in the knee area. And we also have a hard outer protector sewn onto the knee. You balance all that with the BTEC knee armor, there's tons of protection in this area. They've really bolstered that and done a fantastic job. Nice stretch panel here for the knee. Perforated panel here, just above in the upper, the upper leg area. Alpine Star logo, it's a leather piece sewn over. Front of the suit, large perforated panel here, printed on Alpine Star logo, Kevlar based stretch material here, YKK self locking zippers. They've also trimmed the cuff in this new 3D lining, okay? It's going to be against your skin, just a little more comfortable. Got a hard outer protector here in the shoulder, kind of the same deal that we saw there on the knee. And note the GP Pro also uses one in the elbow area. That's a high impact abrasion area. It's going to really work to protect the suit and you in that spot. We've got a nice motion panel here sewn in to the elbow. Let's give you kind of a look at the entire shell of the suit here. Front view. Look from the inside out. Here is that mesh panel that I spoke about that holds in the race on. Alright, let's tie this up. What do we think of the GP Pro? Alpine Stars has really stepped it up with the race suits this year. I love the huge motion panels they're using, the V-shaped motion panels. Great armor in the suits, great construction. End of the day, the GP Pro is just the evolution of the suits that it replaces at its given price point. I'm Brian Van from SportbikeTrackGear.com.